Today we're going to learn how to do something harrowing. A harrowing, to be specific, which is a system agnostic way of peering into your character's future to discover their fate using the awesome new premium harrow module from Paizo and Foundry VTT. Once you've bought, installed, and activated the module in your world, you'll find a beautiful journal that explains what a harrow reading is and breaks down the rules for how to perform one, and another journal that includes descriptions of every card to help you interpret their meaning based on the card and its position. When you're ready to get started, all you have to do is right-click on the Harrow deck and select New Reading or run the included macro and you'll see that a new reading has been made in the Cards tab and this window pops up. This is where you can prepare your reading. You can rename it in the top left, get quick access to the rules and the Harrow deck by clicking on these icons, and you can choose the suit of cards you'll be drawing from for your reading with this drop-down or you can leave it on any to randomize it. Once you've done that, you can start adding participants either using the button in the bottom left and choosing from the drop-down, or you can drag and drop actors from the sidebar onto the reading window. If you'd like card selection to be random, just click the Begin Reading button, but if you'd like to take fate into your own hands and control which cards are present, you can drag and drop them from the deck into whatever position you'd like so you can control the story. If you put a card in the wrong place, you can right-click to remove it. Once you have things set up, you can either close the window to save it for your next session, or start it right away by pressing Begin Reading. At this point, you can press Show Players to let them see the reading as it goes, and they can even select their own cards if they own one of the actors in the reading. The next step is to choose a card for each participant to be their subject card. Your players can either click on a card to choose it for their actor, you can click on a card for them, or you can press the Choose Subject Cards button to do it automatically for everyone. If you chose their subject card for them in advance, that card will always be chosen, no matter which card they click. When the subject cards are chosen, press the Spread button to go to the next step. Now, each of the cards can be revealed one by one with a click, or all at once by pressing the Reveal button. You can hover over each card to learn its name, its current position, and whether that card is a match for the position that it's in. Cards that match an actor's subject card will glow in the same color. There are also icons at the top center of each card that you can hover over to see their values. You can click on each card to see it in a larger view, and when you're in this view, you can press the Interpret Card button to learn more about that card and what it might mean in your reading, and you can click again to go back to the grid view. Once you're finished, you can close the reading or reset it to start from scratch. I hope you liked that tutorial on how to use the new Harrow module, and you don't need to see into the future to know that I recommend checking out this module and the Foundry VTT merch store to find great shirts like this one. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next one.